Compared to knitting, crochet cannot be easily replicated by a machine, which means that it's one of the handful of crafts that can only be created by a human. In this video, I'm going to be talking about crocheting. I'm going to go over how I got started, then some of the things that I've made, then the supplies that you will need to get started, and then finally, I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic crochet stitches. So first, I'm going to talk about how I got started in crocheting or how I got how I was introduced to it. So I've been crocheting for about three years, which means that I started in 2020. I basically just kept seeing a ton of videos about crocheting. I kept seeing people I kept seeing people's um, projects and I kept getting tutorials on it and I would watch tutorials and it seemed pretty easy and I thought that I would be able to do it so then I just decided one day to buy the things that I needed and I kept watching videos and waiting for my things to arrive and then they finally arrived and then I just started doing it and it was a little bit hard at first but I eventually got the hang of it. I'm pretty inconsistent with how often I crochet but it's definitely something that I can see myself doing for many years. Next I will be going over some of the things that I've made. I haven't made a lot of things it's kind of just been small things that I've used to practice, so I don't really count those. But the first big project that I've ever made was a bag, and it was for my cousin. And I was super proud of it when I made it, but now that I look back at it, it's not really my favorite, just because I feel like I could have done a lot better. But I feel like I have definitely improved and I made two more bags after that. One of them I like just because it's a lot more sturdier and thicker and I feel like it's um, easier to actually use. And then this, the third one, it was also again for my cousin and I really like how that one came out. It took me a pretty long time to do just because I kept messing up. Because I kept trying to rush it. But then... I kept making mistakes and I had to start over again which is really annoying but it all worked out in the end and then I made a baby blanket for my cousin it's a pretty simple pattern but it's just a lot of it, a lot of um, doing it over and over again which takes up a little bit of time but I really like how that one came out and then I also made her a baby beanie, which is like kind of like a little bear. And then also recently I made her a little peep bunny to put in her Easter basket. And then I've also made crochet flowers, like some tulips and lavender. And then lots of granny squares. I have some made lots of granny squares these are the most recent ones and I really like how they look I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these but yeah and then I also made a vest that I absolutely hate I just hate how it looks and then this mushroom thing that you could take this off and then put stuff something in there and then just like hang it on your bag or wherever you want and then finally this little bag thing where I keep all of my other crochet stuff like this was my practice one when I first started and I also made this little strawberry and that's all of the things that I've made so far. Now I will be talking about some of the materials that you will need to start crocheting. Um, I think that crocheting is a very inexpensive hobby, which is really great. And so the first thing that you will need to buy is yarn. 
there are different kinds of yarns that you can buy and the price really just depends on the material of the yarn and how much is in the ball of yarn but you can get it at any craft store or online and also at thrift stores um, it's not always at thrift stores but sometimes you'll find some and it'll be at a low price and then the next thing is crochet hooks I bought all of these on Amazon. They came in a pack. Um, this is how they look. Different sizes. So you don't have to buy them individually. And I feel like that's more expensive. And then finally are these darning needles. They basically just look like that. And so you can, they're not sharp, and it's just so you can fasten off your projects so that they don't fall apart. And those are all the materials you need if you want to start crocheting. And finally, I'm going to be showing you some basic crochet stitches. When you first get started, I suggest you start working with light colored yarn, so that way you can see where your stitches are at. So first, I'm going to be showing you how to do a slip knot, which is essentially how you get started with most of your projects. You're going to grab your yarn. This is your end, and then the other side will be your working yarn. You want to grab both sides, like that. And then you're going to want to put your pointer and middle finger in the loop twist away from you and then grab the working yarn with your pointer and thumb and pull through the loop and then you have your slip knot and then you want to insert your hook and then pull the working yarn to make it tighter on your hook so now I'm going to be teaching you how to chain which will be the foundation row for most of your crochet projects so you're going to want to grab the working yarn with your other hands. There's no specific way to hold it, just however you feel most comfortable. I hold it with these three fingers, wrap around, and then hold the tail with these two fingers. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And to start chaining, you're going to want the hook to be facing you. To be facing up so you're gonna yarn over which means you're gonna go under the working yarn just like that so then it'll look like this and then you're gonna want to twist the hook so it's facing down and then pull through the loop and that's your first chain you're gonna want to keep doing that until you get to the amount of chains that is required for your project. So I'm going to show you again. Yarn is facing up. You're going to yarn over, go under, and then you're going to want to twist and then pull through the loop. Hook facing you, yarn over, and then pull through the loop and then you have three chains this is how your row should look now I'm going to be showing you how to do a single crochet now that you have your foundation chains done and so again you want to grab your yarn and then this time, as you can see, you can see that there's holes that you can go through, through the loops. And so what you're going to want to do, again, the hook facing like that, you're going to want to go into this one. You're just going to insert your hook into the loop. It should be easy to do. 
and so now you have two loops on your hook next what you're going to want to do is the same thing as chaining you're going to go under the yarn twist and then pull through both of the loops and that's a single crochet you're just going to want to keep doing that all the way down so again you go into the next stitch insert your hook two loops on your hook and then you're going to want to go around twist pull through both your second And then this is your first row of single crochets. And if you want to keep going to create more rows, all you're going to do is chain one, yarn over, pull through that one, and then just turn the work and continue going that way. So this is single crochets. This is two rows of single crochets and now I'm going to be showing you how to do a half double crochet stitch. We're going to start off the same way doing foundation chain. You're going to want to yarn over so you have two and then go into the stitch. You're going to have three, yarn over, pull through, one. And now you're going to have three loops. You're going to want to yarn over one more time and pull through all three of the loops. So it's one, two, three. And that's a half double. And then again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through the loop. Three on the three on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And you're just gonna again want to keep going the same way and unlike the single crochet if you want to do more rounds, more rows, instead of chaining one at the end, you're gonna chain two. Continue, chain two, you go one two and then chain your work and then do it all over again so this is the end of my video i hope you learned a thing or two and hopefully this has convinced you to start crocheting or at least look into it more i didn't get to show two of the stitches a double crochet and a treble crochet but i will have videos linked down below that give you tutorials on that and also tutorials on the other stitches and also link down below the hooks the crochet hooks that i have and also i have a youtube playlist of crochet crochet videos just tutorials on stitches or um video patterns that teach you how to do stuff. So thank you for watching.